Meghan McCain responded to President Trump's second Twitter attack on her late father Senator John McCain, R. Arizona, within two days with a quickly deleted tweet after having excoriated the president with a blistering comeback yesterday when he began his distasteful assault on his deceased Republican rival. Luckily, savvy Twitter denizens managed to grab a screenshot of the view host's savage but deadly accurate bone mock before it disappeared into internet oblivion. The daughter of the dearly departed senator from Arizona need not have worried that the deletion of her tweet would leave her dad undefended from the despicable remarks that the cruel and thoughtless president promulgated. Many of Senator McCain's former GOP colleagues, aides, and fans of his unique brand of maverick Republican politics rushed to condemn the desperate rantings of a president cornered by the encroaching investigations into his own sordid past behavior. Charlie Sykes, an NBC News contributor and former conservative talk radio personality, pointed out the underlying insecurity that inspired Trump to pillory the deceased senator months after his death. Former Republican political strategist and never-Trumper Rick Wilson chimed in with his own litany of the qualities that McCain possessed and the president sorely lacks. Peter Winner, a veteran of the administrations of President Reagan and both Presidents Bush, gave a harsh evaluation of the mind and soul of a president lacking the most basic of social skills. One of Senator McCain's closest friends in Congress, Senator Lindsey Graham, took a break from the persistent licking of Trump's boots that he has been especially engaged in since the death of his dear colleague to indirectly chastise the president's sentiments without confronting Trump directly. Unfortunately for Senator Graham's reputation, he waited until the second day of the attacks before he dared step up to his late friend's defense. Even the departed senator's Democratic colleagues weighed in on the indignity of the president's needless disrespect. It was Democratic political strategist Adam Parkamenko who had the most entertaining responses to Trump's callous vituperativeness. Suffice it to say, that this is just a small sampling of the negative responses to Trump's divisive, arrogant, and defensively offensive tweets about the late Senator McCain. Just when we think that he can't possibly sink any lower into the pit of moral turpitude, he manages to exceed our expectations of his villainy yet again.